Hey everybody, Logan here, and I didn't really think much about this. I saw a video on it yesterday from Clownfish TV, and now I see one today from RGT85, and he brought up many of good points. And the first thing I thought when I watched the one from Clownfish is, wait, so they're changing. YouTube is changing policies on content without telling anybody. I literally just finished watching the RGT85 video as a recording, as of right now, right now. You can go watch his. I would recommend watching his too because he goes over all the policy stuff. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go on a little rant because you're going to see a ton of gaming YouTubers do this. And normally, when I first heard about it, I was like, all right, it doesn't bother me much because I don't use profanity. I used to when I started the channel, but I've stopped. Uh, not just on, on the channel, but in my personal life as well. I've tried to cut out uh, as much profanity as possible. It's uh, it's not becoming of a, of a gentleman. It's not becoming. You know, sometimes we do. But for the most part, I, I've, I've cut it out. And I no longer put it in my videos. Sometimes when I would do streams and stuff like that, uh, it, it would slip. But the profanity wasn't what bothered me. It's the game content. Violent video games, ultra violent video games, World Combat, GTA, uh, you know, Doom, stuff like that. And if you guys look, I've played a lot of games like that, especially a few in streams. And GTA, GTA is the big one. When, when their policy covered the majority of the content in GTA and GTA Online, GTA 5, what have you. And we know it's going to be in the upcoming GTA 6. If you guys follow the channel, you know I make so many shorts based on GTA gameplay. Just crazy little clips that I find funny or whenever I'm playing, whether it's on PlayStation or Xbox. Because I do play the game on both. I have it on PS5 and the Series X, where I do the majority of my gameplay on Series X. Because that's where I started. Uh, Grand Theft Auto was on the Xbox 360, so I just you know, brought it over and... I, I record clips all the time, and if you guys have been following the channel lately, and if you're a new subscriber, you notice all my uh, shorts have been from GTA. It's it's not everything I do, but it, it's fun. It's it, it gets a good laugh. People, uh, you know, seem to like them for the most part, especially the one lately with the uh, the candy cane attack. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. So. At first, I was like, okay, and then I went, no. Grand Theft Auto, and yes, it's violent. There's, you know, over-the-top gore, there's dismemberment and stuff, which they don't want. So there are people that play a lot of FPSs, especially the Doom series. Um, there's, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what was that new one? Um, Metal, uh, Metal Helsing? I think that's what it's called. That's a new one. And, you know, the Duke Nukem's, the Serious Sam's, there's plenty of other ones out there. There's, I think there's one called Warlock that's, even though they are, you know, some retro-ish, you can't do those. How are you going to play them? I get, the, I get the profanity. No profanity within the first eight seconds uh, to get demonetized. And I think it's within uh, 15, to uh, between 8 and 15 to get limited monetization or an 18 plus. And it's like... So after noticing this, I went back and checked a couple of my videos because unlike RGT, he got uh, uh, a notification. He got uh, one on his phone. I got nothing. But all my Mortal Kombat videos, all of them that I made, you know, first year or so in the channel, all not demonetized, but limited. All of them. Oh. Like right now, I'm looking at my dashboard, and I haven't I haven't got any any notifications. There's nothing up. You guys can't see it, but there's nothing here that says these videos are going to get limited uh, uh, ads or uh, limited revenue. And the thing is, with a channel as small as mine, every view counts. As of right now, I'm only at four thousand uh, one forty one. Thank you guys so much, by the way, for boosting the channel in December as much as you did. November and December were really big months, but December was massive. 
uh, well over 300, almost 400 subscribers in one month. Thank you guys. I really, really appreciate that. But it's, it's going to be tough at the video games that I cover and what I show. Like, I can talk about them. That's fine, but I may not get to play certain games. Like, I know High on Life I wasn't able to play. When I started playing it, I, I recorded it. I I uploaded it, but there was an issue on the on the website. I have to re-upload it. And that's the only place I can really cover those games. So what I am gonna have to do, because not every every YouTuber has a has a gaming website. And as for myself, you know, we have redbandanagaming.com. But how many games can I cover and just throw up to the website? How much gameplay footage can I throw up to the website? Because those videos take a lot of storage. So what I would normally do is upload them to YouTube and then post them on the website through a, a, a YouTube video link. A lot of websites do. It actually keeps your server storage space down. And that's, that's a great way to do it. But now I have to upload full videos in full 1080. Some of them I'm like, all right, they're going to go to 720 because they take a lot less space. And the fact that there's a number of us that now have to go, oh, all right, now what do we do with this content? Where do we put in this content? People are saying try Rumble. People are saying try Odyssey. And you know what? The, the audience isn't there. I, I, I tried Rumble. I tried putting up uh, videos on Rumble. I do have an account and it just, it, video games just don't work over there. Um, that doesn't mean they won't in the future, but video game channels just don't. I don't see any growth. I saw no views, none, because no one's looking for video games on those other platforms. This is where yeah, YouTube is a place where everybody goes to look at new video game content. And uh, another point RGT made, I thought was very, very valid, was how are these major publishers who rely on gamers and YouTube channels like myself, who play Grand Theft Auto, who play Doom, who play games like Serious Sam and Doom Newcomb. And I know they're older, but there's so many games like that out there that are pretty violent and usually just for a kick or, you know, Gears of War, for example. How's that gonna affect Gears of War? And as you guys know, I'm a massive Gears of War fan. So, the, these publishers are going to get pretty upset because that takes away so much free uh, advertising, free marketing. Ultimately, it's not going to hurt me too much. I just have to rethink what I do. And like RGT said, I, I, I'm a, a daily uploader as well. Sometimes, a lot of the times, twice, uh, twice to three times a day, depending on the content, usually two videos, one short. On my days off, multiple shorts. Uh, Sundays, you guys, it's almost never a video. It's always shorts. Sunday's my day off. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of us are going to have to rethink how we approach the gaming content. And it's mainly the gameplay uh, content for myself because the controller uh, unboxings, new product coverages, news you know it's not that big of a deal but for example i i tend to get games early from time to time and certain ones now i have to go hmm can i play this so i have to record it and then find out nope i can't play it and i'm actually surprised one of my videos didn't get demonetized but then again uh i realized it was one of the the safe foul words that showed up right at the beginning of the video and a lot of people are going to go back to, you know, putting in the, the long form intros to be safe for that first eight to 15 seconds. And it's funny because I recently started cutting down to the, the shorter intros, except for the short videos. Then I add my uh, longer intro back. But as you guys have seen for my last few videos, I just have my my short intro and just because, you know, I, I've had people that love the intro, but it's like, Okay, we're seeing in front of every video, and there are people that watch my content. Uh, will will they'll sit one day and watch all my videos from the week in one day, and then I'll say, okay, okay, I have to constantly skip the the intro because they're hearing it every anywhere from ten to thirty minutes, 
and you are. So I was like, okay, I understand. So I'm gonna save the, the long form intro with just the, the, the shorter videos or or discussion topics here, wherever it seems necessary. But uh, now, as you guys have seen, I have that short, in what, five seconds? If that, four second uh, intro. So that might be a thing you're going to see a lot of YouTubers come back with right at the beginning of the video for 15 seconds to save save any of that from happening uh, if they are a profanity laden channel. The one that actually comes to mind the biggest of all the channels that does that is AVGN, Angry Video Game Nerd. I'm really wondering how that's going to affect Cinema Massacre. I hope it doesn't hurt them that much. Um, I hope it doesn't hurt them at all, but it is, with, with these rules, it's really hard to see that it wouldn't, but hey. Well, thank you guys for listening to this, uh, this little rant about it. And, you know, most normal people who just watch don't care, but it's literally like an inside baseball kind of thing. Now you're going to understand why your favorite gaming YouTubers, YouTubers who haven't addressed it, have changed up or slightly changed up or clean, cleaned up their content in such a way. So I, I just had to give my two cents. Thank you, RGT85, for putting that video out there and had me think and so on and so forth. And Clownfish TV covering it as well. Um, yeah, so had me thinking. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Remember to hit that uh, subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video, turn on that bell for notifications. Check out our uh, spring shop in the little shelf below, buy a t-shirt and whatnot, it really helps out. If not, just hit the super thanks, a little heart with the dollar sign in and just give us a tip, that always helps too. And again, follow us on our socials at Red Bandana Gaming on Facebook and Instagram, RBG underscore retro on the Twitters. And like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.